vegetative management practices. Your agricultural land will be classified under two possible uses, cropland or pasture, range, wildlife, or commercial. Practices one through six apply to land that's being used for crops, and practices seven through 13 apply to pretty much anything else. All right, practices one through six. Practice number one, occasional cover crop. Apply when your land is class one. Practice number two, cover crop every other year. Apply when your land is class two. Practice number three, only sow crops two out of every four years. Apply when your land is class three. Practice number four, only sow crops one out of every four years. Apply when your land is class four. Practices five and six should always be used with cropland, and that is return crop residue and conservation tillage. On to the next practices, seven through 13. Um, in these practices, sometimes I will say classes five and higher. However, I really mean classes five, six, and seven, but um, soil pits in class eight land is not safe, so they're not going to show that show that to us on any of the competitions so for all intents and purposes when you're grading land it'll be classes five plus practice number seven establish recommended grasses apply when you're on class five and higher land unless you're planting trees uh, and you plant trees when you're using windbreaks poster wood lots or timber production and those three things will be marked if the land is supposed to be used for those things Practice number eight, proper pasture and range managements. Always use this with class five and higher land. Practice number nine, protect from burning. Always use with class five and higher land and land that's marked for windbreaks, post or wood lots, or timber production. Practice number 10, control grazing. Always use with classes five plus unless you are planting trees. Practice number 11, plant recommended trees. Apply when land is marked for a windbreak, post or wood lot, or timber production. Practice number 12, harvest trees selectively. Apply when land is marked for post or wood lot or timber production, but not when it is marked for windbreak. Uh, practice number 13, use only for wildlife or recreation area. This is only applied with class eight, which again, we are not going to see. So essentially disregard this practice.